Hello everyone. Um, I figure since I started running the new shieldy routes, I may as well make a tutorial for some of the tech that I found. Um, first, first thing is first though. Uh, I'm gonna link in the description a cheat engine table and a link to my cheat engine folder with the table installed already because you don't really want to need this. If you want to truly master uh, the shield movement and. Uh, because it has it has something that I, I can't take credit for making this. I did add a few things to it, but I did not make the original cheat engine table. But it has a few things in it that lets us save and load our position. Um, so in order to use that, you're gonna want to open the game, obviously, and then open cheat engine, uh, attach it to control, yes, and then it it it, it should automatically uh, pick the right cheat engine table. But in case it doesn't. I'm gonna want to just click that button, open, click on control underscore DX11, or you know, whatever other cheat table you have, but it, it should just be that. Just click yes, okay, and then down here, save slash load player position. Check that, and you want to check this here. Um, but what I what I can take credit for is I made it so the hotkeys check for when the game was in focus, and uh, made it so you could have 10, 10 checkpoint positions. So basically how to use it is you just press F1 or F2 or F3, save it into those slots. So let's say here I press F1, I go over here, and then I press 1 the keyboard. That, will, that sets me back over there. Um, it does not preserve your view angle, unfortunately, but maybe in the future it will. We'll see. But anyway, that's in the description. You're going to want to go ahead and grab that. Uh, also, just to preface, this tutorial is going to assume you've already ran the game and you understand how to do proc clip outs and things like that. Although there's not going to be that many of them at this point in the run. Uh, and lastly, you should already have an auto hotkey script that lets you scroll through cutscenes with the scroll wheel. Remaps the scroll wheel of space. It might also have a macro here. Um, you can use the macro, I believe, um, but I'm I'm just gonna be using like scroll jumping. Like I'm gonna be referring to saying when to scroll the mouse. And so for that, even though you have the auto hotkey script, you're gonna want to have jump bound to mouse um, in game as well. By the way. These are the settings I found that work best for seeing out of bounds since having these two on medium. Um, if you have this on off, then global reflections isn't anything but play. So. The route, the way that I do it, is basically the same up until Old Boys Club. I know that Lette and some others prefer to get shield right after directorial override, so you have the extra mod slot going into Old Boys Club. But there's two reasons I don't like that. Um, number one, I don't need it. I don't. I don't feel like I need the extra energy that much in Old Boys Club. Um, it, it's there's it's faster to get it with Launch Five too because the save only takes one hit, and also Old Boys Club is when you get, start getting level two mod drops, so you have a better chance of getting dodge efficiency or energy recovery. Or something like that, um, it, w without shield. Because if you have shield, then it will it will give you shield boost. So I usually get it at the start of threshold. Um, so I'm gonna start out talking about how to get it. Uh, I'm gonna go I'll ignore the save. You're not gonna have this unless you're running Hundo or all bosses. So I start out by getting energy two, health one for the second mod slot. Fast travel to central exec, like normal. Um, there's also going to be two ways you can go and get the shield. I'm just going to show you the way that I do it. Um, so you go to the elevator, you go to maintenance access corridor, just like before. Standard practice. And then I'm going to turn. Dash out of the elevator. And grab. You're going to want to grab the fridge. This is just like in lazy assistant skip. Unfortunately. <laughs> okay, grab the fridge, go it over here, and you're gonna want to flip out over here, just like with the assistant. Like you do with me. 
Drop it, but instead you're going to want to drop down onto that. And dash over here to start the mission. And then you want to climb up here, bunny hop off of this, the scroll wheel, and you can just drop right in there. Okay. That's where having launch 5 pays off because it only takes one hit to get rid of the safe there. So now, this movement here is pretty tricky. Um, this astral plane trial, I'm probably the only one who goes it like this, but you come out, you dash forward once, dash over here, climb up there, jump off of here, dash across, then dash over here. There's, there's gonna be two ways to do this, but this is the this is definitely the weirder way, but it's much, much faster. You're gonna want to sprint into the wall and put your crosshair about here. Like around there on this texture. So you're sprinting into the wall, holding W, you let go of W and switch to A, and then climb up. And for whatever reason, she just mantles up like that. Don't know why you cannot mantle up onto this normally. Um, but for whatever reason, sprinting, letting go of W, and holding A gets you up there. I'm pretty sure it's a similar idea on controller. Uh, you don't even need a sprint, it seems. You can just blub you into the wall, and then climb up there. You just have to be looking around here. And then so to climb up onto this, because I know that this is also weird. If you're having trouble climbing up onto here, just look to the right. I don't know why, but looking to the right makes it easier to climb up onto here. Um, so yeah, that, that's just the first part. So all together it will look like this. Dash out, climb up, jump out, dash across, dash over here, do funny mantle, oh, I'm, I'm bad, dash forward, dash out, climb up, climb up, dash across. here, funny mantle, jump across, climb up, and then you want a full energy bar here, coyote jump off of this, and just dash all the way to the end almost. Here you're going to be out of energy, so I usually just sort of like serpentine, dash across here, dash, climb, dash, climb, dash, climb, climb, dash, climb, dash, and then interact with the end. And then as soon as you see your teleport, you can quit out. You don't have to wait on the mission complete for that one. Um, so this is where you're going to want to use that cheat engine screen. So shieldy, we usually do it at CPs. Something about Dylan. Um, is he here? It's a good time to have a shield. But it works. It works in this sector because this elevator has two floors which are in the same sector. Uh, but we, we usually do it at CPs. So, right after you get shieldy, you're going to quit out, you're going to be back here. And it works by interacting with the elevator, or, or control point. And then right before the interaction completes, you, you put up shield. This works in current patch as well, like it should be exactly the same. Put up shield with the menu, this is what you want. And you fast travel, or go to the other floor. And then... We are. So now you have shield shield movement, um, which means if you just hold W, you just start, sort of start flying. And so this first skip, you're gonna want to come over here, and you want those enemies to spawn in, and then you dash across. This skip's having to do boxy McFloaty. Um, so yeah, so threshold, you're gonna get shield. Do that. You know, boxy skip and then do the motel puzzle as normal. Uh, this isn't going to be like a full tutorial of the entire route, but uh, I, I am going to have to go through some of it to just to explain the shield movement. Um, but yeah, so for thresholds, get shield. Shield glide to skip the um, boxy and then do the motel puzzle and then quit out immediately. And then what we're gonna do is go to the upper power plant. And I'm do and I don't know if this is the up to date route. Right now this is what I'm doing, but I need some way to show shield movement. 
Um, and this is this is kind of tricky, but just so you know, like what you can do with Shieldy, uh, you can sort of just fly up almost indefinitely, and then we glide all the way over here. All right. So now that we're here, I can show you like most of the shield movement. So yeah, once you're up here, you want to get energy three. You're only gonna have. You might be able to get energy four, but I usually just get energy points. Really, at this point, I save my ability points until after um, uh, my brother's keeper. So how I practice it personally and. Maintenance sector is definitely not the best place to practice it, but um, just for for this tutorial, I'll show you. I usually set two checkpoints between two CPs. So I set one in my three slot, so I press three and I come back to the CP, and then I fast travel to the control room. I'll press F4. Do it at that. So I press four and I'm here, and then I press three and I'm over here. What I do to practice is I usually just pop it up, pop up shield, and then I fast travel to the other place. And if it doesn't work, I wait a second, and then I come back. And yeah, there we have it now. You'll know whenever your camera's just pushed up inside of Jesse's head. And from here, you can teleport wherever you want. Um, Shieldy from here, upper power plant, works pretty consistent, I would say. Um, that is another thing. Do. There's certain CPs that if you try and use Shieldy between, it will not work. And then maybe sometimes it will work the first time, but if you mess up and have to redo it, you have to wet out before it'll work again. It's it's very weird, but I'll try and show you some of the places that it's it's rather consistent. Um, so yeah, setting up a glide from here works pretty consistently. Like you can fast travel from this to control room and fast travel back with shieldy and it works um, but yeah so i was just showing all that so i could show you like the setup for this because it's probably the easiest to demonstrate how shield fighting works so there's a couple things i should talk about first is when you're shield gliding you are kind of fighting like shield gliding is what i use to refer to this technique i found that lets you move on the X and the Y plane. Um, so whenever you're gliding, so like from here, I want, I want to glide from here all the way over there, across the big old pit. So whenever you're gliding, you're fighting height, because with shieldy movement, well, we don't understand how or why it works, but with shieldy movement, you're always getting pushed up pretty much, and you can go almost an infinite height. Uh, it is It is strange, there's parts of the map that you go and it seems like it just pushes you straight down or pushes you straight up and there's nothing you can really do. It seems like there's kind of a point of no return, but here it's pretty it's pretty liberal and free. Um, but yeah, so that's the thing. You're kind of fighting the height. Uh, and then also, since we don't have our levitate ability yet, since we're in threshold, we have a much bigger chance of dying. Because uh, that's the other thing with Shieldy. So you're, you're fighting both height, but also you're trying to avoid like slamming into a floor hard enough that you die because there's de there's both death barriers and also just hitting a floor the shield movement can like will kill you a lot of the times and that makes it seem kind of random to people who aren't used to it yet i mean hell i'm, I'm not even really used to it <laughs> um but but yeah it's it's a lot easier to die without our levitate ability so for gliding, um, what I usually do is I hold A and S on the keyboard. I'm trying to go over here, um, and so, yeah, the movement keys don't make any sense. <laughs> so with gliding, um, I think the most important part is the keys, kind of, but mostly where you're looking. Um, so for this, I usually look to the side, since I use A and S on this one. Um, so it's kind of like strafing, but there's the, definitely like the horizontal angle that you're looking at, but 
but more importantly for gliding is the up and down. Because there's a very particular spot you want to look at uh, to glide. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold, I'm going to look over here, about head level, because you want to you want to look about head level and then maybe a little down whenever you're gliding across. Um, so I'm going to hold A and S and then uh, scroll the mouse wheel, and you're gonna you're gonna see my keys. You should be able to see my keys. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to scroll the mouse wheel and hold A and S. And we're flying now. All right. So yeah, you can see a couple things that happened there actually. Uh, what I'm gonna do uh, for setting this back up is I'm gonna activate shield. Go to the control room if it'll work. Oh, I accidentally pressed up four there. That's fine. Okay. Okay, this that that's what happens a lot of times whenever I load in fast travel to control room and then come back is it will I'll, I'll come in and I'm just already flying up. And if that happens it's it you can recover from it. Like it's not the end of the world. You just have to be ready for it. Um th this this stuff takes practice pretty much. But anyway, so what what I what I'm doing here is you're going to see like it's just kicking me up nonstop. So the entire time, whenever I see it pushing me up higher than I want it to, I'm going to, like, I adjust. I adjust. So, like, yeah. So, I, so I'm, like, going more where I want to go. Um, because, like, you're kind of fishing for that vertical angle the entire time. The other thing is... There's a point... I don't know if I can get it here. But like you can sort of see Jesse's head bobbing back and forth like this. This is this is kind of the ideal thing that you want without uh, levitate. This is how every time you hear that footstep, that's her vertical velocity getting reset, so she won't probably have fall damage like that. But if I look there, then I fall straight down. I, I took some fall damage there, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna turn on infinite health. Engine. So if I look down, you can see me just like falling like that, like that, and that's that's what you want to avoid, um, because you know you you are falling, and that's how you just go splat. Like, I fall damage immediately. But here, I'm just getting, I'm just seeing her head kick back like once every second, which is good. This is kind of what you want. Now falling, now being able to control whenever you're in that free fall is definitely like key. Like this is how you get really, really good with this movement is just knowing when to do this on demand. And again, this is not like muscle memory. This is like stuff you feel out and you just sort of react to stuff like while it's happening. Um, so for these, whenever I was first doing them, I was kind of just like fighting the height, and I would usually get a lot of lot more height. But I just needed to get far enough over that whenever I dropped it, I could just make it the rest of the way. So yeah, uh, like I was saying, you are definitely fighting like the excess height because there's a point where you have so much height that it's just like it's slowing you down. You get this not fast. Um, and usually you have more height than you know what to do with, which is fine. Like for this one, since I'm just trying to get to here, you know, dropping it about at that sign is good enough, or like at the end of here. Um, but having energy for here is, is definitely a lot easier. Makes it a lot easier to make up that difference. But yeah, so I think I covered everything. That that's basically that's the basics of it. I suppose. Um, the biggest thing for me is definitely just practicing it with uh, cheating. Every single glide I've found, almost, I have set up tel telemarks with uh, cheat engine and just grinded them out, just practiced them and, and figured out the nuances with them. 
Um, let's see if I have one at the elevator still. I don't know if I do. Oh, okay. I have one here. That's fine. Okay. So, like for this big one I showed off, uh, I'm going to show you what I was talking about whenever I said there's parts of the map that just push you straight down. Um, so, like, over here is the control room. You can sort of see it there. And if I go over here, then it, it starts, like, pushing me down like that. Uh, that's And that's why I go, like, sort of at a curve, like, a curved path, kind of. Um, I need to set up the... But yeah, that's why that's why I don't take a direct path here. I kind of go out, and I go through here. Um, you you don't, by the way, you do not want to be scroll wheeling constantly, especially when you know you're gonna be phasing up through parts of the map. Um, you kind of just want to like hold space bar for that, because uh, if Jesse mantles, that will take you out of the shield, uh, and you don't have the move. So I was I've lost a lot of runs here. Um, trying to do this glide, and then like I'm just sort of scrolling. Oh, I'm just like drifting down. I probably can't get it to happen right now, but um, getting kicked out of the shield will like mess you up. Which, like I like I would mantle up uh, on that up there. A lot. I'm not gonna get it ha to happen here now that I want to, huh? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. You'll you'll see it for yourself whenever you practice this stuff. Um, but but to avoid that, you definitely just like just don't scroll the mouse whenever you're in those danger areas. Like whenever I'm coming up through here, like I'm right here. I'm not scrolling the mouse. Like if I see myself get stuck up there, I'm gonna tap jump. Just sort of surfing to the end there. I'll just show you how you can. And you are gonna see like you get to parts of the map and it like takes you out of shield. There's definitely different things like you want to do there. So yeah, just real quick, just to tutorialize this slide over to the upper PowerPoint CP. This is not the first one I would practice. I would definitely practice the one over the pit that I just showed you. But, um, yeah, I would just hold A and S. You only go up here. Once you're out of the map here, you sort of just, yeah, this is where that free fall stuff happens. And if you're ever, like, stuck, like, if you're scared, just dash. And you want to dash once because you want to be preserving your energy when doing, when doing this because you want to keep, you want to, like keep energy so you can make up like you get the rest of the way there so like usually shieldy gets me 98 percent of where i want to go and then it's up to me to like dashing and, and ground slamming and all that uh to make up the difference the closer the better obviously like i'm over here i'm falling so i'm gonna tap dash I'm just gonna drop shield since I'm just all the way there. Uh, this this is another good one to practice. Um, but I'm not gonna get it ha to happen here now that I want to, huh? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. You'll you'll see it for yourself whenever you practice this stuff. Um, but but to avoid that, you definitely just like just don't scroll the mouse whenever you're in those danger areas, like. Whenever I'm coming up through here, like I'm right here, I'm not scrolling the mouse. Like, if I see myself get stuck up there, I'm gonna tap jump. Yeah. And then yeah, I'm just sort of surfing to the end there. I'll just show you how you can. And you are gonna see like you get to parts of the map and it like takes you out of shield. There's definitely different things like you want to do there. 
to, yeah, just real quick, just to tutorialize this glide over to the upper power point CP. This is not the first one I would practice. I would definitely practice the one over the pit that I just showed you. But, um, yeah, I would just hold A and S. You want to go up here. Once you're out of the map here, you sort of just, yeah, this is where that free fall stuff happens. And if you're ever, like, stuck, like, if you're scared, just dash. And you want to dash once because you want to be preserving your energy when doing when doing this because you want to keep you want to like keep energy so you can make up like you get the rest of the way there so like usually shieldy gets me 98 percent of where i want to go and then it's up to me to like dashing and, and ground slamming and all that uh to make up the difference the closer the better obviously Like, I'm over here, I'm falling, so I'm gonna tap dash. And I'm just gonna drop shield since I'm just all the way there. Uh, this, this is another good one to practice. Um, but if you ever wanted to get a, get a good solid feel for it, I would not do it in this sector. So, you grab the CP. Then you go to control room. Grab the CP, upgrade it uh, uh, to energy three. Go to control room and then shield me back to upper power point. And so if this happens, yeah, we're fine. You just want to clip out through this door and you want to go over here. You want to be over here. And this is the shieldy equivalent of who's a reach. Um, you can you can glide like a lot more of the way. It's just really hard to see out of bounds here. We'll say that again real quick. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start the elevator again. Show the whole thing. Nope. No this. Go to access corridor, and we we go to access corridor both so we can um, get shield, and then also so we can do shieldy setups from here. So we should be the maintenance sector, and then we glide over to the upper power plants. I'm stuck. Okay. Glide over. Falling, I'm gonna drop shield and then just dash the rest of it. Grab it, create a control room. We shield the back to the level. Then we kind of just go over this a bit. I'm just trying to get onto the And then we just drop up here we dash out and then you can dash straight into the hallway but it's definitely safer to just dash to go a little higher so you know you can get back in and from here play the level as normal there is a banshee skip but it's very like it's not viable at the moment uh, so I, I usually will just do this fight in runs can you help me find the prison this let's kill this guy Grab the clearance card and then quit out. And this is where I do that glide over the pit. But first, and this is kind of I this is literally IG's abuse. You need to hit this trigger like through the store. So I usually just dash out there and then quit out. And that that quit out is 100 IG. But yeah, the trigger is literally like right here, like right on the side of the door. So yeah, you load back in, you go to control room, you lead back to the upper power plant. Or, yeah, the upper level. And then you glide across. When I just... Oh, I missed it. It's just barely. I don't know why 
why I'm making the tutorial from this bad at it. That's the rest of the way. Here, drop down, and again, this is this is uncomfortable. Let me claim this CP. And then this is where I do another glide that is it's somewhat optional, like Learn these at your own leisure, pretty much. Uh, this one is, is definitely kind of big, but it's also very easy to die with it. So I, I grab that CP and go back to control again. And then I go to court. Back to court. And I look about over here, and then I hold A and S, and I scroll the mouse. The worst thing that can happen is you get stuck on these walls, kind of. But you want to get out here. Go as far, drop the shield, and just dash the... cancel your fell damage. I'm out of energy because I'm bad at this game. Assuming you did everything right, you should have this. If you don't have this, you probably missed the missed the uh, the trigger that I went out and put out for. Um, so yeah, you probably missed that. One. Um, but assuming you did everything correctly, you should have that show up as active. 